ay Congressman na Marcoleta. May I please raise a parliamentary inquiry? What is your parliam parliamentary inquiry? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. The rules of the committee says that this committee only acquires jurisdiction on matters of nonfeasance, misfeasance, malfeasance. And under Section 2, Mr. Chair of the Rules, there should be a prior determination whether or not these malfeasance, nonfeasance, and misfeasance are directly or specifically relating to the person's charge of this. Has this committee made a prior determination of this? And if so, when did it happen? And where is the order specifying that the committee has just reached a prior determination? This is very important, Mr. Chair, because the rules also say that after determining or making a prior determination, this committee will set an order, and that is the only way that this committee acquire jurisdiction over the person's subject matter of this inquiry. And that particular order of prior determination will set out the parameters. If I can make a comparison, Mr. Chair, in regular court, it is called pre-trial order, where the parameters of the inquiry the presentation of evidence or explanations or allegations are limited to that set of stipulation. So considering, Mr. Chair, and I assume that there is no prior determination, I do not think how we can start the meeting today because we are supposed to observe the rules. I am referring to Section 2 of the rules of this committee, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to answer that, uh Congressman Marcoleta, we have already ruled on the preliminary determination a while ago. Uh, medyo na late na po kayo. Now, with respect to the, with respect to your uh, inquiry that if uh, we can uh, proceed with this, considering that uh, this is an investigation of malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance, let me walk you through. Uh, Let me walk you ito, through the definition of a good government and public accountability. It provides that all matters directly and principally relating to malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance in office committed by officers and employees of the government and its political subdivision and instrumentalities inclusive of investigations of any matter of public interest on its own initiative or upon order of the House. Uh, for the information of everybody, this, uh, the issue on confidential fund is a matter of public interest. Lahat po tayo ay uh, interesado, hindi lamang po tayo, yung publiko po, interesado kung paano po ito nagamit. Kaya yung po ang dahilan why this uh, committee has jurisdiction over the subject matter. But Mr. Yes, Chair, Congressman uh, Margoleta. Mr. Chair, under Section 5, there should be a record of preliminary determination. It says that the proceedings in the preliminary investigation or determination shall be recorded through stenographic notes. What you were mentioning are moto proprio cases. I am assuming that this committee started by way of a referral because of a privileged speech delivered on the floor by one of us. And so this is the main subject matter of this committee meeting and to which we should first determine preliminarily whether or not this committee acquires jurisdiction. And I demand a record of preliminary determination under Section 5 because it says, upon termination thereof, Mr. Chair, the chairperson shall issue an order which shall recite in details the matters taken up. So what are the matters taken up, Mr. Chair? I think we should be able to comply with these elementary rules as specified in the governing rules. 
Well, considering that uh, we are still in the, we have yet to proceed to the interpolation, uh, we are still in the period of recognizing the resource person as well as the witness. The chair, the committee uh, would like to take note of the manifestation of the Honorable uh, uh, Marcoleta, but considering that uh, we have already, the committee already took cognizance of the uh, preliminary determination, we will proceed to the uh, COA.